Welcome back. The Santa Fe Artist Market holds weekly art shows at the West Casitas of the Santa Fe Rail Yard every Saturday from the beginning of March until the end of the year with all of the work being made right here in New Mexico. They're now in their 14th season. We're joined this morning by Carolyn Lobeck and Harlan Soper. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Welcome. Thank you guys so much for being here this morning. It's a delight. Thank tell, you. Tell me a little bit about your guys' art that you have on display. Carolyn. I'm a ceramic artist. I work um, primarily on a potter's wheel and I fire my work in a gas kiln to very high temperatures. Um, so it's stoneware that is the end result. Um, and I do a lot of um, surface decoration on my pieces. So carving, painting, slip work, um, and stamping, things like that. Okay. And we have some of Oh, wow, these are really pretty. We have Thank a couple you. of samples right here. Mm -hmm. So these are kinds of things that we can find at the market. Yeah, these are pretty typical. So um, anything that you would sort of find in a kitchen um, or in a home for decoration is the kind of thing I make. But this is an example of some of the surface decoration mm -hmm. I do. And I take a lot of inspiration from nature. So these are oak leaves that I've carved into a piece um, and then finished with a couple different glazes. And then Harland, what can we see at your booth? Well, at my booth, um, I cut steel. Okay. I'm a, a steel sculptor, if you will. And I pick up the story of the West starting about 1491, pre-colonialization, and follow back oh, wow. okay. petroglyphs yeah. that uh, are abundant across the Southwest and, in fact, across much of the world. And I use those as my inspiration. I hike. I find a petroglyph I like. I take a picture. I have quite a library now. And then I embed them in my steel work. And, um, and so they not only present themselves their story, um, but it's a story that I can interpret if I like because there's no Rosetta Stone to tell you what sure. these mean. Sure. So we get to be our own interpreters. And, um, and then I add light to them <clears throat> because the energy behind these petroglyphs can really be felt if you can release that energy so it's every piece low. that I do is backlit. Now how long have you guys been displaying your art at the uh, artist market? I am going to be going on to my 10th year wow, this okay. September. I can't believe it. And I, This is my first year and it's a real delight. Okay. I, what are you looking forward to or what have you enjoyed the most? Well the people that you meet. I mean we'll have easily a thousand people or more every Saturday come by and so the folks that come by and talk to me have an interest in petroglyphs primarily, and they're from all over the world, and it, it, we get to engage in some really remarkable conversations. And after 10 years, what keeps you going back? It's how I've built my business, honestly, just doing local markets. Um, the traffic that comes through is amazing, and it is my bread and butter, so. And when can our viewers, one more time for everybody, go check it out? We are set up on Saturdays, every Saturday, March through December from 9 a.m. till 2 p.m. in the West Casitas, uh, just north of the Water Tower. Perfect, and for more information, if they didn't catch that, where can they go? Santa Fe Artist Market, you can Google search it mm -hmm. and it'll come right up. And then do you guys each have your own social media pages where they can find you directly? I have a website, okay. um, uh, fireonsteel.com, and um, and I don't do social media because it takes so much time. I understand. So it come really on does. by, come on down on Saturday. That's the best way to meet me. Perfect. What about you? My website is innovateceramics.com. Okay. My business name is Innovate Ceramics, and I'm on Instagram at carolyn.lobeck, all lowercase, um, which is a good way to see what I'm up to um, on a daily basis. Perfect. We will have, of course, all of this information and the entire recap of the interview on our website as well. That's krqe.com.